here from the long after to ready to preach the word of God. We've got Brother Timothy. He's come all the way from Riverview to share the truth about God's word for you. Get excited. Get your smiley face on. Here he goes. Go get him, Tiger. through history. I've heard people say, I've heard historians say, you can't find Jesus outside the Bible. Listen, the reason why a historian can't find Jesus outside the Bible is the same reason why a burglar can't find a police officer. Because not only is he not looking for him, he's avoiding him. You can't help but find Jesus all through history. Pliny, Josephus, the Roman history, all through. And there's so many pictures of Jesus from the beginning. Romans there, Paul writes, he said, What shall we say it is? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? You know, there's folks out there that think, you know, I, I've even heard it said, you brothers have probably heard it said too, that, uh, you know, if, if I don't sin, then Jesus, he just died for nothing. That's wicked. That's wicked. That you think you've got to continue sinning or, or Jesus died for nothing? He just died in vain? That's wicked. That's counting the blood of Jesus as something common. That you would just trample the blood of Jesus and continue on living a, a lascivious, wicked lifestyle and think that God's going to forgive you. Says, what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? It said, God forbid, how shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, the Bible says. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. You see, you ought to fear God. Jesus said to fear God. Be the one who has the power to cast your soul into hell. The Bible says that the fear of the Lord is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. So we've come out here tonight. I've come out here tonight to warn you about the judgment of God. To warn you that when you die, that there is coming a day that when you die, you're going to stand before Jesus Christ. And you're going to give an account for your life. You're going to stand before Jesus Christ. And you're going to give an account for your life. Hey, for every it? word, no. for every thought, for every deed. Hey, I they realized that. And Jesus said that unless a man is born again, that he cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> Jesus he said you back. must be born again. You must be born again. You need to become a new creature in Christ. The old things pass away, and all things become new. You need to become a new creature in Christ. I have become a new creature in Christ. Amen. I used to be a pothead. I used to be a drunkard. I used to smoke a pack of cigarettes a day. I was a fornicator and a blasphemer. And I was headed to hell. I was on the broad path to hell. And I started to fear God. And the Bible says that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, the Bible says. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. You see, you ought to fear God. Jesus said to fear God. 
Be the one who has the power to cast your soul into hell. The Bible says that the fear of the Lord is the fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. You see, you're on the broad path that's headed straight for hell. You've got to wake up because your life is so short and you're going to die and it's going to be sooner than you think. And you're going to stand before God. And the Bible says it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. You ought to fear Him and depart from your sin. You ought to fear God and stop being a drunkard. Stop being a porn watcher. Stop being a pot smoker. You gotta humble yourself. The Bible says not to love the world. Neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him, the Bible says. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. This is not of the Father, but it's of the world. And the world is passing away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Jesus said, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven, Jesus said. You ought to heed the words of Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. Fear him who after he hath killed hath power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him, Jesus said. Amen. The Bible says that the conclusion of the whole matter is to fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. It's the whole duty of man to fear him. You got to give him the glory. The Bible says that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. If you're lost, Jesus is the way. You got to follow him. Jesus said, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself. Let him take up his cross and follow me, Jesus said. You gotta follow Jesus Christ on the straight path. Jesus said to enter in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction. Jesus said, enter in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction. And many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way that leads to eternal life. And only few there be that find it. Only few. Only few there be that find it. The Bible says, if scarcely a righteous man will be saved, where will the ungodly appear? The Bible says that God is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us word. God is long suffering. Amen. God is not willing that any should perish. Right. God takes no pleasure in the death of the wicked. God doesn't want you to end up in hell. That is why he gave his son to die on the cross. To be a sacrifice for you. And for the sins of the whole world. But you've got to repent. You've got to repent. Jesus said, unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. You've got to repent. Follow Jesus Christ. 
Your life is but a vapor. Turn to the Lord. Turn from your sin. Turn from drunkenness. Turn from pornography. Turn from this world. And turn to Jesus. While you still have time, you're going to stand before Him. You're going to stand before Him one day. You're going to say one of two things. You're either going to say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Or you will say, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. When you see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets sit down in the kingdom of God, and you yourselves thrust out. There shall be weeping on that day. There's going to be gnashing of teeth. Turn to Jesus, the one who died for you, Jesus Christ, the one who gave his life, that you might be made new, a new creature. You need to be born again. Only one day, under heaven, given among men, whereby we must be saved. That at the name of Jesus Christ, every knee will bow. Every knee will bow to Jesus Christ. The things in heaven, the things on the earth, the things in the earth. And every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. He is the King of kings. He is the Lord of lords. He is the Alpha and the Omega. Jesus Christ, the spotless Lamb, the Lion of Judah, your one and only hope, Jesus. But you gotta repent. You gotta lay down your sin. You gotta lay down the alcohol. Lay down the drugs and pick up your cross. And the Bible says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus. And believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. You gotta believe. You gotta pick up your cross. Follow him. Follow Jesus. Jesus is alive. He's coming back one day to judge and make war. Jesus is coming back one day to judge and make war and to execute vengeance. Jesus is coming back one day to judge and to make war and to execute vengeance on all those that know not God and those that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. You've got to obey Jesus Christ. You've got to pick up your Bible and read it. The Bible says that God is angry every day. The Bible says that God hates all workers of iniquity. But God commended His love for us that while we get sinners to Christ, He died for us. The Bible says that God so loved the world that only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him does not perish, but have everlasting life. Oh, Jesus is alive. He's alive. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, the Bible says. You can't hide it from God. God sees it all. God sees your thoughts. God sees it. You can't hide from them. And one day you're going to stand before Him naked. You're going to stand before Him. You got to get ready. You got to get ready for that day. Before it's too late, you end up in hell. 
Hell's a horrible place. All those that go to hell stay in hell. How do you know you've been there? It's a point of man wants to die after this moment of judgment. I haven't been there, but I know the ones in it. Hell's a real place. You were given a cost. You don't like the wrong. We've all chosen to do that which is wrong. You will be judged for it. The Bible says that all liars, all liars will have their parts in the lake that burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Just one lie is all it takes. Just one lie. But Jesus can wash you clean. The blood of Jesus to wash away your sin. No amount of scrubbing and water and soap to wash away the sin. That's not true. Sin is not relative. You know right from wrong. You have a personal choice to sin. You do, but you will have to pay for that sin one day. Unless you humble yourself and cry out to God. I make you a new creature, so I tell you, I used to be a pothead. I was suicidal. I tried killing myself many times. What you think of a pothead? I used to be addicted to those cigarettes. What makes you think of a pothead? No, I'm, just, I'm, just, like I'm just telling you. I'm saying I used to be a pothead, not you. I used to be addicted to cigarettes, too. I'm just giving you my testimony. I'm telling you that Jesus changed me. But I tell you, it, for me, it started with the fear of God. You gotta fear Him. Hell's a real place. And if you don't repent, you're gonna end up there. It's a place of torment, fire. I repented of Christianity. I was born, raised Jewish. I converted to Christianity because of what I've learned. Because what I went through. What have you learned? Well, what happens after you die? I get your soul. What about your soul? Jesus said to fear God who has power to cast your body and your soul into hell. That's the word that Jesus he said to fear him. He also said to love thy neighbor. He also said yes. that. Do you love your neighbor? I do. How do you do that? Well, let's see. There, I got some letters in my mailbox the other day, and I actually went to the apartments that they belonged to, and I gave them their mail. Instead of saying, return to sender, I said, no. I'm going to go find my neighbor's room and give them the mail that was in, accidentally in my mailbox. Good. Can I ask you a question now? Sure. Um, Have you ever told a lie? Who has? I don't know. Where's that guy? Uh, have you, have you ever stolen anything? No. Not, nothing? You've never stolen anything? No. Have you ever, have you ever been angry at somebody without a cause? No. You've never been angry at anybody without a cause? got angry at him a few minutes ago because you thought he said you smoked pot, but he was talking about himself. That was, that was anger a without a cause. In response to a misinterpretation. Which is angry without a cause. We do, yes. Even just one sin, we're guilty, right? They only take one murder to the see the other side. If you want to look at it, Can I ask you something? Why do you smoke? Right now, I'm actually using this as a form of breathing. Well, you just put. That hurts it. 
It's bad for me to ride my motorcycle. I nearly lost my leg. I used to be addicted. I couldn't though. I was addicted to pot. I smoke five cigarettes a week. I don't connect to it for months, if not years. Why don't you? It's a personal choice. I know why. You don't have Jesus. Having Jesus, Jesus has nothing to do with. You wouldn't need that cigarette. If you have Jesus. All you need is Jesus. No, no. He's your answer. No. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He saved me. He saved my brother. I'm not saying right Christianity is bad. I'm not. Because if that's the path that you follow, then that's the path that you chose. And it's a path that works for you. What about you? You're going to die one day. I'm going to die one day, and I will end with the universe. You're going to stand before Jesus. You have to get help you want to see even the, even the Bible says that the, the, that the stories of old are those that are today, essentially. There's, there's nothing new under the sun. Joseph but, Campbell talked about that. And now this is a man that taught at a Catholic college who understood that the archetypes are actually part of our own psychology as a society, as a human race, that everything goes back to that. There is only one way to heaven. There is no other so you're religion. saying that your way is better than... No, we're saying that Jesus is the only way. Every other faith is wrong and we're going to hell. You don't find that to be a little harsh of judgment? No, it's an absolute statement. Based on? What Jesus said. Which is greater because why? Because he is the truth. I am saying that's the wrong thing. I don't have to 
Pleasure in the death of one. 